Coffee Chat Day 26. Sit down, grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibe. Uh, I need to find my ashtray. Did that help? Oh, there it is. So yeah, I mean, not much to talk about. Went to church. Uh, first time I went to church since Good Friday. So I'm actually very happy to, you know, actually be back there. Uh, woke up at half seven, too. That's really good. Like, you know, waking up a little bit earlier every day. That's pretty sick. This video is not going to be as entertaining as yesterday's one, though. Yesterday's video was uh, something else. <laughs> I still have the stick here. Oh. There it is. It feels like I'm in talking about this stick. It feels like... I'm trying to figure out what happened after a hangover, if that makes sense. You guys get what I mean, right? Like, the hangover sort of vibe. You know the movies. You know the movies, right? Yeah, so, like, it feels like I'm... <laughs> it feels like something that I would do if I got blackout drunk. Like, I'd just wake up in a room full of, like, sticks. And I'd have no idea what the hell I did. I mean, I actually have a few blackout stories. Might as well tell them. They're pretty funny. So, where I live, right, is, I mean, I don't want to, like, you know, dox my home and, like, dox myself and dox my hometown and all that sort of, sort of stuff, right? So, I'm not going to, like, give exact places. But, Halloween 2022... I went to a nearby village, right? Well, nearby, I mean, this was like an hour away on public transport. And like, when, by walking, it is like two hours away. So, you know, like it wasn't that close. Oh, don't know what's up with like that little bit of hair. I'm just gonna leave it there, honestly. Like. It's not that bad, but yeah, no, so I, you know, it's a, it's a fair bit away for the place, like for Ireland, right? For Europe, we don't travel as far as like in the Americas. So two hours away is like pretty far for us. It was Halloween. I was doing a Patrick base, uh, a Patrick Baseman, Patrick Bateman costume and when I went down to where the party was, I mean, that, like, the Patrick Bateman costume doesn't have anything to do with the story. I'm just sort of saying it because, I mean, actually, it does have something to do with the next story. But, you know, I'm just sort of giving you, like, the full picture here, right? So, we showed up at the, at the party, me and a few of my friends, and we were already, like, pretty fucked up at the at that point, like, we had been drinking, we had been smoking, we'd been doing all that sort of stuff, right? So when we got to the party, we were already, like, there. And me and my friend ended up blacking out in this just random house. I mean, I didn't even know anyone there. Everyone that I was with knew the host. I didn't. This was my first time meeting him. And, like, you know, we got along pretty well. He was also wearing a suit. So, we sort of had, like, that little bit of kinship. But, uh, yeah, cut to a few shots of rum and a few shots of vodka later. And I was, I was fighting for my life. I was just there in this, like, sofa next to two of my friends. One of the which was, like, tripping on shrooms and shit. And he was already gone. He was gone gone. He was like molding into the seat in a shape that a human body should not be like capable of forming into. And I was just there incredibly drunk just like like that right with like the you know like the hype goggles you know like those like sunglasses with like the white around them. I was wearing one of those hair slicked back in a suit just trying not to throw up and I ended up, like, you know the death screen in, like, Dark Souls games? 
you know, like the you died. I I just saw that. <laughs> like I didn't actually see it, but it, I might as well have seen it because I knew there was no hope. I knew like I had to just give up and just let myself go. And yeah, I woke up like three hours later. House is empty. It's just me and my mates, who only one of which was still alive. And we had to like try and figure out a way back home because there was no public transport or anything. We ended up getting a lift, so thankfully it was all right. But man, that was just a wild night. Second time was in this room. Uh, I was St. Stephen's Day also in 2022. Uh, again, I was in a suit. I had already drank a fair bit. Someone gave me a little bit of rum. I was sitting there, just like right there, just dead. I was just dead. I don't even remember. I just got showed like a video by one of my friends who was like, just pointing at the camera at me and just like talking to me. And I was just there like, I, I don't even remember being there. I don't remember getting out of this seat, but one second I was in this seat, next second I was lying down on my bed, throwing up, and I was just like, oh, okay, I guess I'm here now. So I started throwing up, I sat up and was like, all right, Party's still going, boys. We, we're still going. Went to the bathroom to, you know, relieve myself of poop. And when I got, the moment I sat down, I just fell asleep and it was just gone. It was over from there. In a suit, on the toilet, I blacked out. And then I woke up on that bed in a lot of pain. But you know, that, those are my two stories about blacking out. I, I don't really black out often. Oh, I could also... Do I tell that story? Yeah, fuck, I'll tell that story. So, I was... This was, like, the first time I had drank or smoked in, like, three months. And this was, like, sometime last year. I think around May. And... Oh, man, it was... No, it was April last year. Damn, it was nearly like a year ago. But, yeah, so I, I hadn't drank or smoked in like three months. And, so where was I? Uh, yeah, so I hadn't drank or smoked in like three months. And me and my mates went out to the pub. We had a few drinks. Me especially. I was, I was already drunk walking in because we got a ball of Jack beforehand. And I make very strong Jack and Cokes. I'm just gonna let you know right now, I make very strong Jack and Cokes. So, I poured out, like, about that much Jack into a glass and, like, that much Coke. And I drank that before going to the pub. I was obliterated by the time I walked into that pub. And... You know, we kept having our drinks and all, uh, you know, like normal pub activities. And then we got back to mine. We had more drinks and we smoked up a bit. Uh, I ran into the bathroom knowing, all right, I'm, I'm going to throw up. I start throwing up and then I got very anxious about having a heart attack. So I was just like calling my friends, like freaking the fuck out. And then like, you know, they came in, we listened to music. We all ended up falling asleep on the fucking bathroom floor. And yeah, that's like, I don't even know. Like, it, it's just, I have some wild memories from just drinking, especially. Like, I don't really get drunk that much anymore. Like, I'm not really, I don't know, I suppose I just don't really want to drink to the point of getting, like, obliterated. I, like, if I'm going out for a drink... I do want to get drunk, but I don't want to get smashed, right? Like, I want to be effective with my, like, I try, when I drink, I try to make it, like, a balance between enjoyability and sensibility. You, you get me? Like, I, I like to have that little balance, right? I like being able to think when I'm fucked up. 
That's like the scariest part about getting blackout though, like not knowing anything. <laughs> like just, you could have done anything and you just wouldn't know. It's terrifying. And there really isn't much to talk about, like, right now. I'm going to the gym later. Well, I'm going to the gym after this. And I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm really hoping it's going to be good because I haven't gone in, like, a week. And I'm I'm missing the pump, honestly. I'm, I really am. <laughs> like, I can feel my muscles deteriorating, and that isn't very fun. And I ate a full pizza yesterday, so hopefully that will give me some sort of, you know, energy for the workout. Like, I, I have to stop because my wrist just doesn't like curling. And, like, my elbows really don't like benching. And pretty much my whole body just doesn't like lifting now. <laughs> but, you know, I, I still like lifting mentally. So, obviously, I'm going to still lift. But, yeah, I'm just going to take a painkiller. Hope that will just sort me out for the workout. Oh, shit. I was meant to record. Ah, oh, fuck. I completely forgot about recording the 100 sub special. That, I mean, I could. I could do that later today. Yeah, I could. I could. I could. I mean, I know. I I want it to be like a really good video though. So I might delay it. Because I'm already, like, uploading the copy chat that I recorded yesterday. And, like, we already hit, like, 100 subs, right? So, it it's like, I, I don't know, would you guys mind if I delayed it a bit just to make sure it's good? Because I really want to make sure this video is good. Because, you know, 100 subs, that's, like, a pretty big amount for a channel that... You know, like, for, for me, 100 subs is, like, a pretty big amount. So I really want to, like, make sure the video's good. Like, the video celebrating it is good. I want it to be very high quality. I might merge together, like, all the different types of videos I do into one for that video. Like, I think that could very well do... Or I might just chug this quickly because... You know, my family's still home, and again, I don't want them to think that I'm insane just talking to myself in my room. So I might choke this quickly. I mean, there's like a fair bit left in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but like, there is a fair bit left in there. <sighs> That's gonna be really good for the uh, pre-workout, too. I'm having a monster after this coffee. So yeah, that'll be... That's gonna be pretty sick. I might record the uh, Bible reading outside today. Just because, like, again, people at my house. So, don't want them to think that I'm insane just talking to myself again. But, I don't know, like, it, it really just depends. Because, honestly, like, in the process of speaking about it, I have cared a lot less about it. But yeah, that's why, you know, today I'm being, like, a little bit less energetic. I'm being less, you know, very... I feel like normally in my coffee chats I'm very outspoken. And in this one I'm being, like, very, you know, like, almost monotone. I mean, I don't even know if my voice is monotone regularly. I don't rewatch my videos when I record them. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just, if you started... Recording YouTube videos, I think you would 
get what I mean by you never want to watch your own videos. Like, I honestly don't get how people can deal with the idea of just, like, randomly going on their own homepage and seeing themselves. That is, like, that is terrifying. <laughs> like, I have uh, a couple Google accounts, right? And for one of them, like, it's just my own personal, like, YouTube feed. But I am subscribed to this channel. Well, I used to be. I think I unsubbed. But I was subscribed to this channel. And just seeing my own face pop up on YouTube was just... Like, it, it's not a fun experience. It is like shell shock. Not shell shock. It's like... It's a real whiplash of emotion that you get. Alright, coffee's down. That's everything I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.